what have you made of him in terms of his adaption thus far? Because it seems to me like he's getting better pretty much every time we see him. Sounds like I spoke to him on the side of a motorway in that yeah, little bit. Yeah, the mix zone. Um, yeah, the mix zone's good fun. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit noisy if you're doing something like that. I, overall, been impressed with Leaf Davis, I think. <clears throat> pardon me. Um, he, he's grown, yeah, week on week. I think he, he actually dealt with the Liverpool game quite well. He just got punished for a couple of moments. And then from there, I think that the City game was a tough one, wasn't it? Where he gives away the penalty. But then on the flip side, he goes up the other end and probably should have had a penalty himself for, for that Sabino moment. So I think those first games were ones where he was aware and you would have been made aware in pre-season that you're not going to have the opportunities to really do what you want to do going forward because you're going to have your hands full against top opponents and you're probably looking at the Fulham game and thinking, oh, this is a good opportunity for me to do that. And then coming up against someone like Adama Traore, who um, probably yeah looks like all three of us put together, he'd probably still be, <laughs> probably still be bigger. Um, so <laughs> well, had, I don't had know, she's a big lad now. <laughs> yeah, that is true, but um, I, I don't know with us, with us two, I don't know. Yeah. Adama Traore, yeah, big, big guy and he I mean, he learnt that one the hard way early on in that game, didn't he? Ran into him and got floored quite yeah. early. Um, and we're just starting to see a bit more. I mean, even in that game there, he had the opportunity to come forward and, and play the pass. Admittedly, it's, it's quite a, it's probably one of the easier assists he'll have this season for that one. But just game on game, you're starting to see him get more into that flow of the attacking Leaf Davis, of getting forward. Um, a little bit confused as to why Villa left him pretty unmarked in this game, to be honest, because a lot of the times teams will look at him and say, right, let's put a couple of people on him or let's make sure we've always got someone tracking his movements at all time. And with this one, there were quite a few occasions where you're looking at him and he's on the other side with no one on him. And, and that was the chances that he had to, to go and get forward. Lots of good crosses into the box, lots of good movement, lots of good running. He enjoyed it. You could tell he was enjoying his football. And this was the performance which felt like championship Leaf Davis of, of just um, being a real creative powerhouse. Um, he wasn't on every set piece this time, which was interesting. We have Calvin Phillips taking um, a few corners, which um, he referenced in his post-match bit. So Calvin's got uh, a good cross into the box. They wanted to take advantage of that. And, and Jack Clark took some as well. And despite that, he created seven chances in that game, which was the most of anyone, then that's factoring he didn't take every set piece. So I think that's a sign of his constant progression and the fact that in 1v1s, I'd say mostly, yeah, he's had some tough moments, but mostly I've been really impressed with him. These are not championship attackers he's been coming up against. These are some of the best players in the world. And I can't think of one that's made him look stupid or, or really embarrassed him over the course of um, 90 minutes. He's, he's largely had... Um, Pretty good moments against all of them. I think this is why he's a he's a prime example of having that sort of EFL grounding. Um, had he been thrown in at the deep end, straight into Premier League football for for Leeds or whatever early in his career, um, that ha that could have had the potential to really knock his confidence. And because um, defensively he he wasn't ready for that. Ultimately, I think that's probably why Leeds made the difficult decision to let him go. And we saw it in the early days in League One that there was some defensive vulnerability, stick an aerial ball on, on top of him at the far post, and that, that was a problem. Um, but he's he's grown and grown, and, and the, the experiences that he's picked up in, in League One and the Championship have, have made him ready for the Premier League. Certain parts of his game, as we know, were, were always ready. But it's, it's the other stuff. You have to be... We know McKenna likes players to have superpowers, but you have to have an element of, of all roundness to you. You can't have too many glaring weaknesses in the Premier League or you get found out. And um, that's the bit that's um, impressed me the most with Leaf is, is how he's kind of grown from game to game facing some of the opponents that we've we've mentioned. So, um, yeah, um, hopefully that him and, and potentially Jack Clark can get that going. And, um, and um, yeah, we've always talked about uh, the right side being a, an area where Ipswich's threat comes from if they can... Threatened down both, then then all the better. 